Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our guest of honor representing the government of the Republic of Singapore, Her Excellency Ms. Grace Fu, Minister for Sustainability and the Environment, and Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Republic of Indonesia for Singapore, His Excellency Mr. Suryo Pratomo, ushered by the Indonesian Embassy Flag Hoisting Team 2024. A very good evening to all of you. My name is Sarah Sehan and I will be your host for this evening. Welcome. On behalf of the Embassy of the Republic of Indonesia, I am very delighted to receive all of you here for the diplomatic reception at the Shangri-La Hotel to mark the 79th anniversary of the independence of the Republic of Indonesia with this year's theme, New Nusantara, Advancing Indonesia. His Excellency, Mr. Suryo Pratomo, Ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia to Singapore, to deliver his remarks. It is a proud honor to welcome you all this evening as we celebrate 
the 79th anniversary of the recent Independence Day. This year has been exceptional, both for Indonesia and Singapore. We are not only celebrating our national day, but also welcoming our new leaders. Despite the leadership change, Indonesia foreign policy including the bilateral relation to Singapore will be made and changed. In part and the union partnership between our nation, we have worked together to address global challenges and science. Our population for Indian's marital and airport built on shared terms and common goals. Singapore investment in Indonesia has reached record level, amounting 13.3 billion US dollars and 15.4 billion US dollars in the last two years domestically. In the first half of 2024, Singapore investment in Indonesia reached 8.9 billion US dollars. In trade Indonesia, Indonesia and Singapore are two of this I invite you to join me to the host the President of the Republic of Singapore, Tan Di Sanggudanatu, for the good health and success of His Excellency to continue peace and prosperity of both Indonesia and Singapore and to our everlasting world of Indonesia has made remarkable progress in nearly eight decades of independence, and the Indonesian people are rightfully proud of their many achievements. Indonesian economy has been robust despite recent years of global uncertainty and is an engine of growth for Southeast Asia. Indonesia's commitment to sustainable development and digital transformation will benefit future generations. Indonesia has also identified human capital development of its 270 million people as a crucial factor in unlocking its full potential and charting a path to achieve its Indonesia MS 2045 vision. Let me also take this opportunity to congratulate Indonesia on its recent achievements at the Paris Olympics earlier this month, where Indonesia won two goals in weightlifting and speed climbing. Last year, bilateral trade between Indonesia and Singapore reached $65 billion, attesting to the depth of our economic cooperation. Our achievements in the Indonesian story is reflected in our status as the largest foreign investor in Indonesia, accounting for $15.4 billion in MDI in But the Singapore-Indonesian relationship is not just about purpose. More importantly, we have over the years built a deep reservoir of trust and goodwill at official business schools and people-to-people -people level. I would say that ladies look beautiful, but I should say that ladies and gentlemen do look On behalf of the Embassy of the Republic of Indonesia in Singapore, we would like to thank you for your presence and see you on our next diplomatic reception. I am Sarah Sehan, wishing you a good night.